Okay, this is a updated video for the Ceru's Flower Ding <coughs> Fit to Path option, which in my original video, which I'll post a link to under this, I didn't have a problem with. And then when I tried to show how to use the function in my question and answer YouTube live, I started having the same problem as other people. So I've come up with a word round and this one seems to work every time. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to the letter T. I'm in the Canvas Workspace download program and I'm going to select the text, click once on the page to bring the text box up and I'm going to type the capital letter E nine times. And hit enter. And because I'm using Saru's flower ding, I've now got my nine flowers rather than nine letter E's. I'm going to come to the basic shapes and I'm going to drag a circle on. I'm going to come over to the editing icon and I'm going to make the circle three inches because this is the size and the number of flowers I used in the original video. I'm going to right click on the circle and make a duplicate and put the duplicate to one side. I'm going to select both of these items and come down to fit to path. And you can see that this flower is slightly overlapping here but the others are spaced out okay. So using the character spacing up at the top I'm going to use the downward facing arrow and do three times so I've got minus three and that's now spaced out the flowers equally. Now in order to be able to use this you have to convert this to a shape because all those these look like flowers they are technically text so you need to come down to convert to shapes that will get rid of the circle path and you've now got this. Now in the original video, I welded this circle to the middle and then when I tried to do the offset, I got an error message. So the work round is, before you do anything else, while you've got your flowers in this shape, come down to the offset icon. I'm gonna make it 0 0.04 for now and say okay. And that has now given me the offset. I'm going to select the circle and come to offset and because I've used 0 0.04 it's remembered it so I'm going to say OK. So I'm basically making an offset of the flowers and the circle separately. So now this is my original three inch circle. I'm going to select both of these, centre them on the horizontal and the vertical and weld. And then I'm going to do the same with the two offset layers. Centre them horizontally and vertically and weld. So I've got the same result as I did in the first video without any error messages. Having said that, in the first video I didn't get error messages, but I have subsequently. This method seems to work every time. So I'm going to select the offset and I'm just going to come to the paint bucket and fill it with black in the hope that you can see it better. Then I'm going to select the layer and choose a fill for that. I'm just going to right click, arrange and bring to front so this comes to the top and you can see that I've got my two layers that work perfectly. So I'm going to come back to the text and this time I'm going to use 15 capital letter E. And hit enter. I'm going to come back to the shapes and I'm going to bring a circle on and I'm going to make the circle four inches. So I'm going to come over to the editing icon come to the measurements and make it four and hit enter. I'm going to select both of these 
and I'm going to come to the fit to path. Now you can see with 15 flowers and a four inch circle you get a lot of bunching and if you come up to the character spacing and you use the minus arrow you can move them around but some of them will double up if you watch up here they double up and that's no good. So if you want to use more flowers and a different size circle you've got a couple of options so I'm going to come to the undo and come back to my original 15 flowers and 4 inch circle. Now I know from trying this that if I still want to use 15 flowers I've got to make the circle bigger. You could either select the letters and get rid of some of the you know, make this less. This is 15 at the moment, but I want to use 15 and I want to show you how it works. So I'm going to come to the circle and I'm going to change the size to 5 inches. So I've got 15 flowers and a 5 inch circle. I'm going to right click and duplicate the circle and just put it out of the way for now. And I'm just going to select both of these and use fit to path. Now you can see that the majority of them are spaced okay, but this one is overlapping, so we need to space them out. So I'm going to come back to character spacing, and I'm going to hit the downward arrow until all the flowers have got a gap in the middle. Now I'm happy with that, I'm going to go convert to shape. Before I do anything, I'm going to come down to the bottom, and make an offset and this time I'll make it 0 0.08 and say OK. Select the offset, drag it out of the way. Come back to the circle, come to offset. It's remembered that I've used 0 0.08 so that's fine, I'm going to say OK and I'm going to drag the bigger circle down here out of the way. So this is my original 5 inch circle. I'm going to select both of these, centre the on horizontal and vertical and weld and then I'm going to do the same with both of these which are the offset layers, centre them horizontal and vertical and weld. I'm going to fill this one in with black again just so that you can see it better and I'm going to fill this one in with pink. I'm going to bring this to the front so right click, arrange, bring to front and you can see that that lines up. I'm just going to make them smaller to fit on the page. So this one was a three inch circle with nine flowers. This one was a five inch circle with 15 flowers. So what if you want to use an oval? So let's do 12. So I've got 12 letter E's and I'm going to come to the oval and I'm going to choose an oval and I'm just going to leave this at its default size 3.94 wide and see what happens so I'm going to select both and hit fit to path now I'm not sure how well you're going to see this but these two flowers down here are a lot darker which tells me these have doubled up and if, if you count the circle, count the flowers, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's not twelve flowers here, but that's what I started with. So twelve flowers on this size oval is not going to work. So I'm going to make this one. Let's try four and a half inches wide. So I've got 12 flowers and a, and a four and a half inch wide oval. I'm going to select both and hit fit to path. So I'm just going to count and make sure I've got my 12 flowers. So I'm starting at the top here where this one with the circle is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I've got 12. But you can see that these are slightly overlapping. But we can rectify that using the character spacing. So if I click the character spacing to separate the flowers, I've still got 12 flowers on a four and a half inch circle. 
So now I can use convert to shapes. So I'm just going to drag another oval on, make it four and a half, which is the size I used here. So this has become like my duplicate. I'm going to select the oval of flowers, come down to the bottom, use the offset and we'll go back to 0 0.04 and say OK. Select the outer layer and drag it out of the way. With the oval selected, I'm going to do the same, make an offset 0 0.04 and drag the bigger oval out of the way. Select both of these, align centre and align middle and weld. And then do the same with both of these, align centre, align middle and weld. So again, I'm going to fill this in with black and then this time I'm going to fill this in with a green. I'm going to position this on top and it's behind at the moment. So I'm going to right click, arrange, bring to front. And as you can see, they all line up and have not had any error messages. I'm just going to rotate these. To see if I can get them all on the page. So try it out. This method seems to work. It seems to be a lot more foolproof than in video one and I've closed this program down and opened it and come back to it at a later time and this doing it this way works every time. Just be mindful when you type your number of flowers and you put them on your shape, make sure that you've still got the same number of flowers before you do the fit to pass. Because what seems to happen, particularly with the oval, it seems to reduce the number of flowers. So you think you've got, say, 15 flowers and you've not. So I hope that helps. Leave me any questions or comments below, but hopefully this will now work for everybody. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.